Well, we're just done. We're ready. We're ready to go back to normal. Some businesses are also ending their mask requirements after today's announcement from the CDC. Fox 13's Sydney Glenn joins us live from Sugar House tonight. Sydney, what are you seeing in terms of businesses and masks? And then, of course, how are people reacting? Kelly, most of the business owners and managers we spoke with today say they just aren't quite ready to make a change yet. They need a little more time to digest all of this. In terms of people, though, we've seen quite a lot of people walking around without their masks today. In Sugar House, nestled on the town's busiest street, home again consignment. Moving furniture with a mask is rough, not very fun. Is making a change so nice to go back to normal. How are you doing, Ron? No more masks required here as people shop. I was stoked. Yeah, just really excited. Megan Helen says she's still getting used to it. Or just even getting a drink from your water bottle in the back. I was so used to getting my water bottle and pulling down my mask, and I actually did that today, not even meaning to, and there's no mask, so. For customers, this is a welcome decision. I think like the CDC coming out kind of helps everybody understand where they should you know, where they should stand based on science. <laughs> There's still some hesitancy, of course. I mean, I'm still wary in, you know, big, big groups where there's socially distancing is not possible at all. I could see why not a lot of people are, are ready to go back fully. It's just another step in getting back to the life we used to know. We were just talking about how you get to be more expressive with your eyes when you were wearing a mask. And so you kind of just do that whole squint thing. A lot of the businesses that we spoke with today say they plan to release some sort of new guidance, whether it is that they're going to keep it the same or whether it is that they're going to change it in the next couple of days. So it seems like maybe tomorrow and even Monday we'll be hearing from a lot more places about what they plan to do. Live in Sugar House, Sydney Glenn, Fox 13 News, Utah.